These preschoolers are doing more than just running around the playground. They're getting musical instruction, pretending to fly like birds and sing like them using different pitches. Show me how the baby bird flies. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And show me how the mommy bird flies. It's great to incorporate outside just because you could do its physical activity, but it's instructional. So it's not like we just have them running around aimlessly and they're learning about high sounds and low sounds. Incorporating sounds in all instruction is what preschool director Tanya Lipkin pushes for daily at the Brooklyn Child Care Center. It's an easy concept, she says, parents can do at home. You don't need to be a musician. You just need to understand concept of games and you can use it. Lipkin says it's as simple as singing scales as you go up steps. Or tapping on bottles, full, half full, and empty. Going high and then in Lipkin's new instructional book called We Play Music, she also assigns high and low sounds to colors. Red is a high note, yellow low. So when children see a colorful object, there's also a musical connection. Parents say the program helps bring out their children's natural musical abilities. It could be just my kids in the garden uh, noticing a low leaf and high leaf, middle leaf. It caught the children's attention and it held their attention. And I think through music, learning is easier because it's something they enjoy. Lipkin says music can also be taught as kids play in the sand and fill up bottles to make different sounds, or as they sing some notes while working on a colorful art project at home. What can be better than your child sing? If your child sing, it means your child happy. For more information on Lipkin's musical program, you can log on to www.weplaymusicbook.com. In Brooklyn, Janine Ramirez, New York One.